What up, this is Mickey Fax, and right now you're checking out goodfellowmedia.com. Keep it locked. Well, I was always working. You know, I was still recording. Um, I was still doing interviews. I was on tour. I did the Rock the Bells tour. You know, I did some tours in New Bay. Things like that. So I was still out and I was still working. It's just that I wasn't as active as the fans and as the critics would have liked me to be online. So, you know, after I got my situation here at Battery Jive, you know, I was trying to uh, remind people of what, what I do and how easy it is for me to do it. The reason why it took so long for Mickey Fax to get the right situation was. Uh, I wanted to get the right situation. Um, I think Battery Job is the best place for me to go. So the achievement, you know, I've been working on the achievement since we were doing the leak, but every great artist works on their album until it's absolutely completely finished. You know, back to referencing Michael Jackson, he worked on Thriller for a very long time. And it wasn't until he felt it was ready to go out that it go out. And it's the same thing with me. Like I'm working very closely with Precise to make sure my sound, and my style and my and my outlook and my image comes across in the proper way it's supposed to come across. So I, I don't I don't think that the the achievement being delayed was really that big of a a big of a, a hiatus or deal for my fans because once they receive it and they receive this new music, they're gonna be very appreciative of it. I wanted to give it to the fans because I really hadn't given the fans anything in 2009. So I wanted to start off the new year with a new beginning, a new start, a new Mickey. So Alpha was exactly that. Um, a lot of the, the music that was on Alpha, the Dark Phoenix project, was off of a band that I was really admiring at the time, which was uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. And I sampled some of their music to be the sound bed to the music. and. A lot of the music was very personal to me because that's how I was feeling at the time. And um, it was, as far as the name Alpha, what it meant to me was it was a new beginning. Because, you know, like you said, you know, people doubted me and I was like, well, here we go. This is the beginning of everything. Well, you know, I've been working on the achievement for a very, very long time. Once again, I've been working on it for two years now. I've actually been, I was actually working on it when we were putting the leak out. But, you know, I've worked with tons of producers. I've worked with tons of artists. We won't know until the, the day or maybe the week of when we submit the album who's going to be on the project who's producing. All I know is the precise who's been my producer since you know I started putting music out. He has a bulk of the music. And um, the achievement is really just going to be about me and my struggles, my story really. And um, it's gonna have a feel, it's gonna have a, 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 a joyous feel to it because I want people to get back into the groove of dancing again and also just enjoying life and enjoying what they're achieving, what goals are they achieving, as well as the goals that I've achieved with them. Uh, what keeps me ahead of the curve is having my ear to the streets and having a great team behind me who also keeps their ear to the streets. So we all collectively come together to kind of, you know, teach one another what's hot. You know, so if I see like a hot shirt or my manager sees like some hot kicks or my a &R hears some dope, you know, some some dope new music, you know. It's it's up to me to check it out, listen to it, see if it's hot, see if we can gain some inspiration from that, or from the clothing, or from a marketing, you know, perspective, and we kind of brainstorm around that, and that's how we come up with a lot of the ideas that we come up with. And a lot of times, those ideas work to our benefit, and you know, it gives a, it puts us in a great space. So you know, it, and it's something that we thrive off of. We love to stay ahead of the curve because at the end of the day, being ahead of the curve means that we're gonna be able to win the same trends. Uh, fashion has always been a part of hip hop from the beginning. Um, you had Run DMC with the Adidas. You know, you had Jay Z with Rockaway. You know, everybody's always had their own particular style. So for me, fashion has always been something that has been incorporated with my music as well. And again, you know, it's something that we like to be ahead of the curve with. So a lot of the time, a lot of times when the clothing I wear, a lot of people see it and then they end up, you know, doing what I like to do. But the things I like to wear right now, um, I like to 
So I like to look for like vintage art pieces to wear because I'm into art heavily. Um, I like to wear Y threes, um, Converse, um, G Shock watches. You know, I switch it up here and there. Gold spun. So I, I like to wear a lot of different different things and, and put it all together to make a, a nice ensemble that complements me with facts. You know, for me to be doubted on is great because all the greats have been doubted on from Michael Jordan with Muhammad Ali. Um, people can find me on Twitter, twitter.com backslash Mickey Fax, M-I-C-K-E-Y-F-A-C-T-Z, facebook.com backslash official Mickey Fax, spell Fax with a Z once again, myspace.com backslash Mickey Fax, or you can come check me out on my website, mickeyfax.com. That's where you'll be able to get the mixtape, which is jumping very soon. It's called I'm Better Than You. Work out for that.